In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your entire WhatsApp data from your Android into your iPhone device. As we all know, iPhone 15 has been released. And if you think in upgrading from your Android phone into your iPhone, watch this video because I'll be showing you how to transfer your entire WhatsApp data. This also includes very specific information that normal backups do not cover, such as, for example, links, GIFs, WhatsApp status, and many other backup information. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. What's going on YouTube? My name is Shaq and in this channel I help you with tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about a really powerful software that allows you to transfer your entire WhatsApp information from one phone to another. And hey, this doesn't just work from Android phones to iPhones, it works from my phones to Android phones as well. And all you need is just both of your phones, two USB cables and a computer, which is gonna be the one responsible to communicate with both of the phones as an intermediate to send all the information from one phone to another. This video is sponsored by i2 Labs and I would like to thank i2 Labs for supporting today's video. Tap in the link in the description box below because there's a discount coupon code just for you. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So here we are, I'm here on my MacBook. In my case, I've got in here a MacBook, but if you've got a Windows computer, do not worry because this also works for Windows computers as well. The software is available for Windows as well as Mac OS users, and I'll show you how to download the software, how to install the software, and how to transfer your files from an Android to an iOS device. You can also transfer from your iPhone to an Android device, or you can transfer from iPhone to iPhone or Android to Android the software is pretty solid because it allows you transferring from any device model to any other model and you can also transfer from the normal classic WhatsApp from GB WhatsApp as well as from WhatsApp business this is really nice and you can pretty much choose to transfer everything as well as stickers voice notes and many other data that we've got on our WhatsApp so the very first thing we're gonna be doing in here is hop into this website which is i2 lab WhatsApp transfer backup do not worry because the link to this website is in the description box below and i2 labs was so kind to us here in the channel that they offered us a discount coupon code all you need to do is tap in the link in the description box below so in order to download the software it's pretty much easy we're going to be tapping here on free download to download the mac os version and if you have a windows pc you're going to be tapping here on available for windows device you're going to tap here on free download for windows 11 10 8 or 7. in my case i'm going to be downloading here the mac os x version tap on free download it's going to take you a few seconds and then the download is going to start immediately okay as you guys can see i've got in here my download running already and this will take me around three minutes to download 200 megabytes so once the download is complete, we're going to immediately open up the, the software installation file and we're going to quickly install the software. The process is exactly the same if you have a Windows PC. The installation process is pretty much simple. You just need to run the downloaded installation file in order to install the software into your computer. Now, once this is done, we're going to launch up the software. Now, once you launch up the software, this is how your software should look like. You've got something that looks like this which is what's go, what's up transfer, and then you've got in here three options at the beginning. We've got in here an option which says what's up, the classic what's up selection. We've got the what's up business and the GB what's up. If you guys use GB what's up, I would like to not recommend you guys to use GB what's up because it's a not legal what's up application. So since it's a not legal what's up application, your information might be compromised in some situations. So make sure you always use WhatsApp Business or the classic WhatsApp version, which is something made up by WhatsApp, okay? So if you use GB WhatsApp, make sure you quit using GB WhatsApp today for your own safety. So what we'll be doing in here is we're gonna be tapping here on start on this button right here. And then once we tap on start, we're gonna be having here the second page which asks us to connect two devices to transfer the data. So basically in here, we're gonna connect both of the phones into our computer, whether if it's a Windows PC or a Mac OS X device. We're gonna connect the Android phone as well as the iPhone phone. And as you guys can see, we've got in here all the data that 
our software can actually transfer. We can transfer messages, start, me st start messages, label messages, contacts, call history as well, stickers, wallpapers, voice notes as well as links and status. This is the advantage of using this software because in the regular backup, you might not be having specific details such as status or links, okay, that won't be backed up. So this is the advantage of this solid software. So once we have both of the devices connected, make sure you connect it through original USB cables because if you have a duplicate cable, it might keep on disconnecting throughout the process and you do not wanna be having all these interruptions throughout the process of transferring all the data. So once we have it, both of the phones connected, we're gonna tap here on transfer, and then a pop-up is gonna show up saying that your WhatsApp data will be overwritten on the second phone, which is the new phone, and it then asks whether you wanna continue. Do not worry, this is just a precaution measure because when you transfer your files into the new phone, if the new phone had the WhatsApp, all data is gonna be erased. In case you have what's up on the new phone, you're going to be tapping here on backup if you still wish to like backup the data from the new phone as well. And if the phone is brand new, you do not need to backup anything because the phone is completely new, right? You're going to tap here on continue if you do not wish to backup the WhatsApp that was installed on the new phone. So once you tap on continue, you're gonna be able to select the files that you want to transfer. We've got text messages, we've got images, we've got videos, audio, voice notes, stickers, animated GIFs, as well as documents. So basically, if you have unnecessary files that you do not wanna move into your new phone, you can simply deselect it and then continue into the next step. But if you want a complete backup process, I would recommend you guys to select all of them by tapping here on select all and then tap here on continue. Now, once that's done, you need to verify if you have the 64-bit end-to-end encryption verification. This is for safety purposes. Um, WhatsApp is fully encrypted and it's encrypted by 64 bits, which is a strong safety measure. Okay, so in order to turn on your 64 bit end to end encrypted backup, which is something that normally is already turned on, but we're gonna be making sure in here, we're gonna tap here on the three dots on our Android device, we're gonna tap on settings, we're gonna tap on chats. Then we're gonna tap on chat backup and you should be having a 64 bit encryption option right there. Make sure it's tick, it's on, okay? And then we're gonna be moving into the next step. So once that's on, you're gonna see the backup process starting to take place. So the first thing is the software is gonna back up all your information and then it's gonna restore at the destination, okay? So it takes some time because it's a two-way process. So we're gonna be waiting here for a couple minutes depending on your storage size. This will take some time. So once the backup process is actually complete, we're gonna move into the next step where we're gonna type in the 64-bit password. So if you remember, uh, while going to the chats and backup option right there at settings, while you select the 64-bit option, you've got in there a password that is actually generated. So you need to copy that 64-bit password and input or paste it here on all these squares right here. So once you tap it, we're gonna tap on verify right here. Now, if you're unable to do this, do not worry, we can move into the next step by using the phone number verification. If you're unable to find out the 64-bit password and if you're having difficulties, simply tap here on phone number verification and we're gonna do it by the other way. So you need to reopen your phone to turn off the end-to-end -end encrypted backup because we're gonna be backing up by the second way, which is the phone number verification. So on your phone, go to settings, tap on chat, tap on chat backup again, and then over here you've got backup to Google. We're gonna tap on backup to Google and then we're gonna tap on backup. Now make sure that end-to-end -end is turned off. End-to-end 64-bit -end encrypted backup, you need to turn it off. What we turned on 
on the previous three steps, right? So we're gonna be turning it off because we're unable to use the end-to-end 64-bit encryption. So once we turn it off, we're gonna select here on backup manually, and then we're gonna tap on continue. So once we tap on continue, it's gonna ask us to enter the 12-digit phone number that we've got, okay, including the country code as well. So we're gonna type in here the phone number, which was associated to the old phone from where we're transferring data from, and then we're gonna tap here on verify. So once we verify, then the software WhatsApp will start immediately transferring all the files from your WhatsApp into your or new iPhone WhatsApp so you can have all your information on your phone this is gonna take a few minutes okay because as I said this depends on your backup storage size and then once it's done you're gonna be having in here this message or screen which says transferred WhatsApp successfully so once this is done you've completely transferred your WhatsApp information from your old phone into your brand new phone and I would like to take a minute to thank i2 labs for sponsoring today's video once again thank you so much for supporting the channel and for providing us this couple code to all my subscribers so this was it for today guys thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful here on youtube consider subscribing to the channel leave a comment down below and like the video so that my video can get recommended and help more people facing the same situation as yours i'll see you in the next one have a great day